I'm going to explain how to program a MACD indicator on pound yen with MetaTrader 4. So let's begin. First thing, guys, is open up your uh, MetaTrader and then go to the top and click this button right here or click F4. It should bring you a box that looks like this. Now, first thing we want to do is open our document right here and click Next. And we need to make a name for it. I'm going to call this the MACD buy trade okay, next 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 once we got our formula out we need to make sure of a few things how to create our MACD indicator now I have a pre program right here and we're going to use the on tick function right here guys okay so let's break this down a little bit so I made this a, a, a little bit easier so I can, uh, so you guys can uh, change it around as much as possible. So when it comes to the first part, the INT is the time frame. When trading the time frame, you, you guys can have it on the strategy tester on the five minute. So when I'm, I'm gonna test it on the five minute, or to or the one hour, which would be sixty. You can do both or not, or we just stick to the five minute. But that's the time frame you want the period to run on the trade. The one, two, and three. Now, this what this is going to mean, guys. If we go back to our strategy tester right here, let's open up, uh, say, Euro Pound, real quick. We go open up our indicator. Go to MACD. Open up. We have the fast moving average with the slow moving average and the MACD SMA. We have the apply to close. Now, these settings are essential for uh, opening up the MACD because if we go back to here, guys. The time uh, when we break it down, we put our double as MACD. That's the name of the uh, indicator. I MACD is our code, so you hit F1. I'm sorry, hit F1. You can break it down a little bit more in detail. So if you guys want this information, just hit F1. But besides that, our time frame is going to be on the five minute. Our our other moving averages, basically, to our not moving our, our other settings for it's going to be 12, 26, and nine. We're gonna apply to the uh, the close price, and we're gonna do mode main. Now, if you want the signal, I think it's mode signal. All right. Now, for this indicator, we're gonna make sure that before we enter our buy trade, we're gonna have two other indicators. I'm sorry, two other MACDs read positive before into the trade. So we have MACD back one and MACD back two. Now, basically, uh, if we want to read one. Uh, signal back or one bar back we put a one right here and then uh, a two back here okay our next thing is we're gonna need a bull statement see if this is true and if it is we can uh, get our trade into get into our trade so this is a bull we're gonna name it MACD buy and a bull basically reads true or false so our first indicator has to be greater than zero long as that's true and our MACD1 has to read greater than zero too uh, for the back one and back two greater than zero. Long as that's true, we can enter our trade. Okay. Now, here's our trade. I'll uh, break it down a little bit more in detail. We have our, uh, a basic if statement MACD buy. If that's true, right here, then uh, it will read true. And then if our order's total equals zero. As long as that is true, then this should go through our orders. So INT, uh, basically we have our int, buy order, order send, null, basically works on all formulas. Our OP buy means market buy. Our lot size is 0 0.01. We're going to enter off the ask. Now our slippage is going to be 1, which you can do this. So you put a comma. You see that's our, oh, our slippage. Our stop loss, we're basically going to do 100 pips because we're on pound in. And our stop loss, I'm sorry, check profit, sorry. It's going to be 100 pips. So stop loss, 100 pips. This is basically a template, guys. Our magic number and our comment are here. Our comment is going to be right here. You guys can leave that as zero or put anything you want to for that. And this is a basic order. Now, when the trade goes through, you guys can do a print statement or not if you want to. And in our comma and say trade took place now 
that's the basic code uh, for um, the MACD. Make sure to hit compile so there's no errors. Now let's head back to the strategy tester. Okay. We're going to run it on pound yen. All right. Five minutes. And we're going to look for our MACD trader. MACD. What is this called? Uh, MACD buy trade. Let's verify. All right. So we get the strategy tester running. Um, before you guys run it, guys, make sure you guys click the user data and uh, visual. But this is basically just going to run on a couple time frame. Whoa, moving a lot faster than expected. It's a very small code. But if you look at it, and we can change the time frame, which I'm, we can make it a little bit uh, slower. So we can run it on the, let's say, the one hour. So it's 60. I believe that's all you need to change. Hit compile. Let's go back over here. Hit 60, the one hour for the period. Start. And let's see how, how it goes. So you can see that this one took a loss, but if you look at the MACD, 12.26.9, long as there's a setting of two, uh, I'm sorry, that uh, back two and the current are above zero, it'll enter the trade. Once again, do the same thing. And then it repeats and keeps on going. But this is a very, very beginner video for you guys to learn how to program with the MACD using uh, MetaTrader 4 or MQRL 4. If any question or comments on how to use the strategy tester or this basic code, I'll have it in the description box or in the comments. So please check the pinned comments, guys. Uh, this code is very simple. You guys can modify it, change it up to make it better, but, and combine this with other code that I made in other videos. But that's the uh, video about MACD. Have a nice day. Uh, also, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.